All right, well, good morning, everyone. My name is Ron Roberts, Jr., and I want to welcome you to our 15-minute Career Intelligence uh, Sports Industry Edition. And I'm very excited about this. I have a couple of uh, professionals uh, working in the sports industry who've had a um, good amount of experience, and they both um, are doing some interesting things in the industry. And so I wanted to bring them on for just a few minutes just to share a little bit about their respective career journeys, um, share some lessons learned, uh, share some meaningful moments, and also to um, impart um, a bit of career advice. And so I wanted to go ahead and to introduce both. And so, so we have uh, first Linda DeYampert, who's a senior manager of Studio Environmental Health and Safety for the National Football League. And that's definitely an interesting title. So I'm looking forward to hearing Linda talk a little bit more about what she does. And then secondly, we have Dwayne Hankins. He's a chief marketing innovation officer for the Portland Trailblazers Blazers at the Rose Quarter. And so uh, NBA season has started in earnest, I think a couple of days ago. And so mm -hmm. uh, Dwayne, I know it's definitely picked up for you um, as well. So um, let's get into the question. So I wanted to ask, start with Linda. Um, just wanted to ask you just to share, just high level, um, just your, what your role is and just some of your key responsibilities. And then Dwayne will bring you on to uh, share the same. So thank you, Ron, for um, inviting me to this particular platform. Um, happy to be here this morning. Um, in terms of my role as the studio uh, environmental health and safety platform, um, my responsibility is really to oversee all of the safety initiatives um, for all of our employees uh, here in the COVER um, office and also in terms of uh, personal protection equipment, um, training that is involved. And what is interesting has been added onto my plate is this new COVID um, activities that we're having in terms of testing, making sure all of our employees are mandated and under the rule and the company is under the rule of the uh, state and local um, opportunities that uh, we have to adhere to. Um, I'm gonna have a huge platform at our new facility. Um, we are moving to the new stadium right here in Inglewood. Oh, so that's okay. another new platform that we will have in terms of health and safety as well, um, going into our new stadium uh, right here in California. Wow. Okay, great. Thank you for sharing that. Exciting. Um, so, Dwayne, how about you? Yeah, absolutely. So, I am um, Chief Marketing and Innovation Officer. I guess that's just a fancy way of saying I help uh, operate and run the Blazers brand and also all of our data and analytics and digital properties. So, anything that's uh, fan-facing or we're trying to acquire fan intelligence or trying to change, you know, solutions internally for, for something to maybe be more digital, um, you know, that's, that's where my role fills in. And um, much like Linda, you know, we are in the middle of a, of a major shift in terms of what things we need to accomplish from a digital perspective. You know, we're all preparing for potentially playing a season with, with either no fans or minimal fans like other leagues are doing right now. And, and if we're going to make that work, we're going to have to change a lot of things about our business model. So it's, a, it's an interesting time to be in the industry. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Thank you for sharing. So uh, next, I wanted to ask you just to um, share maybe some important um, career lessons uh, from your career journey. So you've obviously been in the industry for a while, both of you, and I know you've had some um, challenges, maybe some interesting moments, some great opportunities. So what have been some of the key lessons you've, you've taken from your experience so far? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that, um, first of all, you don't go through your career journey alone. Um, it's really important early on to gain mentors if you want to get into the sports industry or any industry, um, to gain those mentors, some that look like you and some that do not look like you, um, is very important. And the other thing uh, that is also important is um, gaining an advocate in your business. Um, it's really not about uh, who you know. It's really about who knows you. And so that's really important for people to know. And if you're humble and you stay with it, you can gain those mentors and advocates along the way to your career journey and okay. through your career journey. 
Great, thank you, Linda. And do I yeah. have some GDP lessons? I'd agree with everything Linda said. And then on top of that, I think, you know, and it's no more apparent than now, you're just learning something every single day. So, um, you know, on the marketing side, you change your marketing plan. It used to be once, you know, once a year for the new season. And now with how the technology changes so much and the social media platforms, it's changing constantly. And so if a, if a day goes by at your job where you're not learning something, um, then, then you've missed an opportunity. And I think, you know, as an intern, I remember keeping a notebook and trying to be really vigilant about making sure I was asking questions and learning things every day. So, um, you know, it, it never, ever stops and, uh, you know, continue to keep an open mind and, and you know, take what comes to you. Okay, great. All right. So um, next, um, and this goes to something that I was saying to Dwayne off camera, he had mentioned, you know, uh, to me at some point that there are people who helped him along his way. And so I'm going to ask you both, who, who share one or two people who have be, been influential um, in your career journey? And Dwayne, we'll start with you. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, it's, it's a little bit cheating and maybe I'm uh, uh, brown nosing my boss a bit, but Chris McGowan <laughs> uh, is my, our president here at the Trailblazers and he was my boss at AEG down in Los Angeles as well. Chris has been a phenomenal advocate for me and he's been a mentor and he's helped me get through a lot of challenging parts of my career. So, so Chris is an obvious one. The other person is uh, Bill Robertson and he was my mentor at uh, Minnesota Wild when I worked at that team. And, and both of those folks have just been um, phenomenal in terms of asking, you know, answering my questions and, and helping me with career advice. You know, the sports industry is an industry where um, there isn't really a, a straight path and, and it might require a lot of moving around. I've, I've, I've certainly moved around the country a little bit and, uh, you know, having someone who can bounce ideas off of and, and make sure you think you're making the right move is, is a really, really important thing for someone to have. Okay, great. And Linda, how about you? Who's influenced you? Wow, I've had so many, um, but I'm going to start with the first person who comes to mind is Glenn Adamo. Um, he's been an executive um, that I work with at NBC and then also at NFL. Um, always giving me feedback, not telling me exactly what I want to hear but giving me honest feedback was really extremely important. Um, I remember in my career where uh, he taught me to continue to be resilient. Um, don't give up, keep going. And then the other person that comes to mind is Natera Holloway, who is currently the VP of Business Strategy in Football Operations at the League Office at the NFL. Um, always, even though she's a friend, she's my mentor. And again, always bouncing things off of her, making sure that I'm aligned with what I'm trying to articulate um, and being open and honest with the feedback and giving suggestions um, how I can improve. Great. Yeah, and I was just thinking when you talked about the lesson and being resilient, I'm sure that's definitely helped you um, and what you're dealing with today in this current environment. Absolutely. All right, so next I wanted to ask um, both of you to share um, at least one very memorable or defining moment in your career. And Linda, we'll, we'll start with you. I would say the best, the memorable moment was in 2018, um, I won the Commissioner's Award. Um, and it's the highest award in our company uh, for starting and helping with the first Black affinity group, which is our Black engagement network. It's called BIN, um, in the teamwork category. And that was the first time that uh, there was a, ca a category in that space for an affinity group. So. That was my memorable moment, just to have that acknowledgement amongst your peers and senior leadership um, to uh, gain a uh, the highest award in the company. Great, congratulations on that. Thank you. Certainly. And Dwayne, how about you? Yeah, you know, in the sports industry, you're so lucky to get to see so many experiences. So for me, it's it's Damian Lillard has had two series winning shots. Um, you know, in 
in our in my my time with the Blazers, and they've both been incredible. And to see the city of Portland really rally around those moments has been outstanding. The other one is obviously um, being with the LA Kings when they won the Stanley Cup in 2012, and that was just it was a phenomenal fun run. The team was an eight seed. Um, they had no business, you know, you know, getting as far as they did, and and it was such a fun, fun run for us. So, um, you know, again, it's been it's been fun, and those are the ones that stick out for me. Yeah, that um, King Stanley Cup run was a lot of fun. I mean, it was just so cool. And just for folks who may not otherwise been involved in hockey or interested in hockey, just to have that that team help to bring the city together, you know, was really cool. All right, um, so we have just a few more minutes. Um, so. Wanted to ask you, um, what do you think? So both of you have obviously has been in the industry for a while, and you've seen um, people come in who've been successful, and you've seen folks who maybe haven't been quite as successful. So what do you think are um, some key qualities to have success in this industry? I, I'm going to say learn everything that you can. Um, and Dwayne mentioned this: always ask questions. Be willing to take on new projects. Mm. Learn something new that's in your business. Um, the digital platform is huge. Social media content. Um, you should be learning that. And uh, that keeps you relevant. And also to um, stretch yourself. Have stretch goals. Um, and just uh, continue to be encouraged and determined. Great, great. And Dwayne, how about you? Uh, Linda said be humble, and I think that one's really, really important. I think you're going to get a, a, a ton of opportunity thrown your way, and, and you, you know, you're never too good to take on any one project. You know, I, I began my career in minor league baseball, and there's nothing more humbling than that. You know, you're a small staff, and you have to do – everything and when it starts to rain you got to run down onto the field and pull the tarp on I mean you know, you're, you're the ultimate team player and and I really go look back on those moments really fondly because I think those are the types of moments that really help you realize you know how you can play a part and you know yeah ne you never stop learning stay humble uh, ask a lot of questions I think all those things are, are you know that's the core to, to making sure you're you know that you're in a good place okay great all right, so um, I would say, I had a couple other questions I want to ask you, but I'm mindful of the time, but I'm, I'm gonna stick with the one that I think probably is gonna be best for our audience versus me. So um, any final words of advice um, for um, students, job seekers who wanna break into the industry, especially when in such a challenging time? Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, be willing to, you know, again, take on any, any role that's that one's going to be really key and then even if you know you want to work in sports i think that's always a good start but but what is it that you what is it that you bring besides that so what are the what are the opportunities what are the things that you want to do on top of that are you good at analytics are you great at the digital side are you a great salesperson um those are the types of things that are going to really you know drive you ahead of other candidates mm -hmm. and you know more than ever i think um you know, sports is looking to, to diversify. I mean, you're seeing it in, in, every, in every way, in every sport. So what perspective do you bring to the table um, that's different than what the, the team already might have made up? Okay, great. And Linda, how about you? Wow, that, that's, that's great. Um, what's really key that sticks out to me is also um, how do you differentiate yourself? What's different about you, to Dwayne's point, um, and also make sure you can tell your story. Mm -hmm. Um, that's very important in your journey, um, how you're getting there and stay connected to people that are in sports. Don't be afraid to ask for five or 10 minutes or reaching out to someone about if you can sit down with them to talk about their careers or get a perspective and also to just be able to do everything you can um, to help. That's very important and, and work really hard. Okay, great. You both were great at answering those questions pretty quickly. So I'm gonna just insert one last question. Mm -hmm. What do you want people to know about you? Just real quick, anything? Hmm. 
Hmm. If not, we won't make it painful, but. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm a mother okay. and I'm a grandmother of five grandsons, believe oh, it or wow. not. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne, how about you? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a father of two energetic boys who are eight and six. Uh, and they're, you know, phenomenal. You know, and then with living in Portland, you know, I grew up in Chicago, so I never thought I'd be the outdoors person that I've become. And in Portland, you have to be. So i have really, really taken to the outdoors and really enjoying it out here. So. Okay, great. Well, good stuff. I want to thank uh, both Linda DeAmper and Dwayne Hankins for uh, taking some time out to share some career wisdom and definitely wish you both uh, continued success in your careers and look forward to connecting again uh, soon. All right, take care. Thanks so thank much. Thank you. Thank you.